So if you weren't here for shoulder or you didn't understand lock short, lock long, then it's, we're going to do that now because it's really going to be your meat and potatoes and how to figure this out. So Kelly's going to give me a curve and I will try to follow her. Okay, she's going that way. So we're going to go thoracic curvature over to the right, but she's got to pick her head up and see where she's going. So there's going to be a compensation somewhere, right? Otherwise she's going to be looking at the world like this. That's not going to work. Your brain will find level no matter what your spine is doing. If you're contorted like this, and you might have seen that at the Body Worlds exhibit, which is unbelievable, your head will find a way to be upright because your brain wants to see out level. It won't seek its own level. So she's this way. So the muscles on this side are locked short, short. Locked short and tight. All the muscles on her left side, long, long, long and weak. weak. Good. You got it. So you had mentioned that, that, that they want you to stretch one side and open the other. Make sure that you're understanding that it's concave and convex. That this is the long, vex, short cave. Okay? Good. That's pretty simple. And we're just going to apply that all over the place. So if she's doing that and she's looking up, she's long in the neck on this side. Short in the neck on that side. So we have a compensation to think about. Good. So what do we want to see happen? Oh, is it cold? Yes. We want to see the, sh so be bad for us. Okay, that's pretty bad. So we have winging here. So we want her to push out of this winging. Good. And then what else do we want? We want the shoulders down. So plug the shoulders down and scoop more in here for me. Push away. There, more. Good. Now I want to pick this up, right? I want the, the belly button lifted and the tail tucked under so that she can sustain the bridge and not get into her back. So I'm lifting her ASAS and pushing down her tail. And as you're moving, you're exactly laterally flexing and you're not doing any sort of flexion or rotation, you're just laterally flexing the spine. And the more accurate you are, the more you're going to feel it right here in your obliques. So the hand positions are, easiest is wrap around the belly, arm down the leg. Now he's already working. He's already suspended. A little more challenging would be hands on the shoulders, hands behind the head, or even hands all the way extended out. I could even give him a dowel and be extended out. That's going to add leverage, obviously. So I'm going to have him rest his hand on the headrest when we're not talking and blabbing and setting up. So, the movement is, once you're in this position and you have the hand configuration that you want, you're going to inhale over and you're going to exhale and squeeze up and that's it. Okay? What you want to not happen is have them come up so high that they disengage that strap and you hear it clicking. You hear that? Looking around, this should be happening. And this leg should not be sawing. Okay? That means he's working from here in the boot head. So if your whole strap completely taut and you are moving only from your waist, you will feel only the waist. If you start to feel your booty, something's not quite right. So this should be still. If I have to get right up on my client and hold him still and hold that pelvis down, you can do that. It will send the work much more strongly into those obliques, but it will control them. Okay, you also want to make sure that the shoulder doesn't round in like that. And set down into it. Nice little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, I know, four, three, two, we're burning and we switch. Two, three, Four. Ladies, you are just killing it. Prepare to alternate. We go right and left and right and left, right and left. Stay in it. Get lower if you can. Last push. Go to your ultimate edge and make the changes happen for two and one. Flatten those feet. We're going all the way up. Hit that releve if you can. Find your balance. Big breath. Release the opposite arm. 